Welcome back, everyone. Soda City Live continues with Be Well Wednesday, and I'm in the Soda City Live kitchen with Kay McGinnis, a registered dietitian nutritionist and diabetes care and education specialist, to not only share a delicious and healthy recipe with us, but to talk a little bit about Diabetes Month, something that definitely bears repeating every single time. We just time. can't get enough, and no. how perfect for me to come on right after James. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there I'm you go. Super excited. Isn't that great? We talk about the four buckets of, yes. of stress mean of, of diabetes. It's exercise or movement. Yes. Um, stress, sleep, and nutrition. Getting enough sleep, getting the proper nutrition, uh, getting rid of the stress, and then getting enough. What was the other one? The exercise. Exercise. Yeah. So exercise. I got to say this because we just had that segment. Yes. Right? So. Exercise pushes your blood sugar down for 12 to 24 hours. It is a huge tool in the arsenal. So Excellent. It's so important for people to do. The, um, and we're learning so much more about it. So the, mm -hmm. con the continuous glucose monitors, the little things that people, you see them, right. right, or the Dexcom, we're learning that it doesn't have to be one chunk of time, that 15 minutes after a meal, or if you could take a 15-minute walk after a meal, it is... Mm -hmm huge mm -hmm. to help drive those blood sugars down. Excellent. All right, I'm going to put you talk about nutrition. You are, and I'm going to yep. put you over here okay. because one of them is good nutrition. Right. And so if you can just kind of go through, we're making a butternut squash soup, right. chili. So one of the things that we talk about with folks is we make sure that we hit fiber, fiber, fiber. Mm -hmm. So it's not that carbs are bad. There's so much misinformation, mm -hmm. so many... Um, just just bad myths connotation there, right yeah social myths about mm -hmm. carbs carbs are not bad carbs are really good body's preferred energy but we just really need to maximize and choose the best quality is what i'm always saying good so fiber is a huge role or mm -hmm. a huge player right mm -hmm. there so beans are our best source of fiber half a cup's about eight grams of fiber okay so once so you get the this beans, is really yes. easy you guys yes. so we've got and we'll show you the and we're gonna here. you can do this different ways mm -hmm. i actually left out the meat for dondi so you Thank could you. easily mm -hmm. add ground turkey ground mm -hmm. chicken ground venison you could even put some tofu in here okay let's okay. show the recipe then as yeah you are putting there you see them there I'll just let you read through those and so my producer will have right. those up on our website it's too super on Soda easy. City Live. Mm -hmm. butternut squash always scares me mm -hmm. I love it now that they have the stuff the butternut squash already yes, cut up at the grocery store. trying to cut those open I'm I know. always afraid I'm gonna cut myself yes, right exactly so I love it that I can buy them fresh mm -hmm. one of the things I might encourage you guys to do is when I do butternut squash if I'm buying it fresh if I don't like the size of it mm -hmm. I have my handy dandy kitchen shears or and I cut yes. it in half so it's a little to bit where you want it right okay and then the other form of it is I love to buy it frozen mm hmm so Thanksgiving is right around the corner you can bet that there is going to be a beautiful salad on my table with yes. roasted butternut squash oh, and some pomegranates nice. right it makes it beautiful it's gonna and it's so super tasty right. and when you roast the vegetables it does they get this just really mm -hmm. rich flavor. So you've got the crock pot going here. So this is and easy. This looks beautiful, but it is we just showed the ingredients, but you're going to start it so here. So it's butternut squash, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and I'm gonna, this here. This is fresh, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. So I love it in the crock pot, right? Yes. So we're just gonna put a little bit in here. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. And then we're gonna just use our canned beans. And, and you do not you do not rinse the beans. I did rinse these. Oh you did. I okay. did. I did as best as I could okay. in my portable kitchen. <laughs> in the Soda City Live kitchen. Yes. Yes. So I've got black beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, whichever beans that you love. I particularly yes. like the pinto beans and the black beans, mm, so those are gonna all. be mine. Mm -hmm. And the diced tomatoes. Yes. Right? So a little bit here okay and then we're going to add a little chili powder mm -hmm. a little ginger mm -hmm. um, and a little cumin yes all and a wonderful. touch of garlic yes right so i always say to people people get scared when we talk about healthy eating because they think they have to go to the kitchen and stay in the kitchen yes. right so take advantage of some of the things that are out there so the minced garlic would be one of those things that Absolutely. i would say take advantage of the pre-cut butternut squash mm -hmm. right well even just getting the beans in the can as opposed to having to mm -hmm. soak them and cook them that way and diabetes is one of those progressive diseases. 
So, you know, we want to make sure that we are working on that. And it's also one of those inflammatory disease processes. Yes. So the more color we can get in, so, you know, add color as much as you can. Okay. So I'm adding on a little pepper here, right? So um, after we add the pepper, because I've got to wrap up and get to a commercial break here, after the pepper, what goes in there? Anything else? A little bit of onion mm -hmm. and a little bit of chicken broth. Okay. Turn it, or it even a veggie pot. broth, right? You could put a veggie broth yes. in there, which this one has chicken broth. I should have put a veggie broth in there for you, And doggy. then, yeah. thank you. And then we've got some um, reduced fat sour cream and or some Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt's a mm -hmm. great option for a little bit of extra protein. Are you all able to see this at home through television? It looks it, it, wonderful, and I love how tender yeah. the the uh, squash has become. So if squash. it's not as thick as you want it, you just mash some of that sure. that stuff up. You just kind of and you could puree it, and too. it gets a little bit thicker. Once you add a little bit of meat to it, it gets thicker, thicker as well. As well, so wonderful. it's a more like a chili rather. It looks like a soup when Donnie poured ladled it up. But <laughs> It's really a <laughs> wonderful recipe. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. From Lexington yeah. Medical yeah. Center.